everybody, it's me, Donna. Well, I wanted to talk to you about sugar. Okay, it seems like, you know, when we're little, we drink a lot of soda, we drink a lot of tea, we drink, um, we eat a lot of food. Well, we're always eating food, even if we're old. But anyway, um, okay, and then I wanted to tell you some of the foods that do have sugar in them. I only wrote down ten of them, but... There's a lot of them that have sugar in them. It's soda, it's uh, fruit ju uh, juice, white bread, snacks, uh, ice cream, cereal, cookies, um, ketchup, sauces, cake. Um, this is just a few of the stuff. A um, few of them that have sugar in them. But anyway, um, then, um, like... Okay, so you're supposed to limit your sugar to um, 25 to 30 grams carbs per hundred per day. And um, Americans are eating more than that. They're eating so much it isn't funny. And then what all does sugar cause? Well, sugar causes fatty liver, which I have that. And then um, it causes cancer. It's big business. Cancer is like big business. And then um, it causes like high blood pressure. It, and the two diseases that it's well known for is heart disease and diabetic. Being a diabetic. And um, um, you know like so you get fat. You get fat from sugar. Um, it says um, what else. Yeah so you get fat from sugar. Sugar gives you, gives you really fat. And um, what else. And then, um, man, it causes all kinds of problems. Weight gain, weight gain, and you can lose your teeth over it. And, um, yeah. And then, um, when you get cancer, what causes the cancer is you get worms. You get parasitic worms. And then they, um, they manifest as worms or bad for the body. And then, um... They said that the best, and then you can get um, Alzheimer's disease, which is like where people forget who they are and different things like that, and the memory goes bad and, and different things like that, and then you um, you don't have as much ex you don't have as much energy and stuff like that because sugar just takes that away. I'm full with my papers, and. Um, I mean, and, and people in the olden days didn't eat as much sugar as we do now. Like, we eat a ton of sugar now. People eat more sugar nowadays than they did a long, long time ago. And, um, so anyway, so sugar is, like, sugar is, like, makes diabetics, and it's depression, it makes depression, um, it puts more fat on your body, it's bad for your heart, it's bad for your cholesterol, it's bad for your health and your brain, and then it says you're supposed to cut sugar out, but that's kind of hard, and, um, like, yeah, like your grandparents, your great-grandparents didn't eat as much sugar as we eat nowadays, we eat tons and tons and tons of sugar nowadays, and, um, and then they say that the best diet for you is K-E-T-O-G-E-R-I-C diet or a more plant-based diet. Yeah. And then they say it weakens your immune system. Yeah. Weakens your immune system. And it's so easy. And kids, we just had Halloween. So, Yeah. Now, all that stuff is really bad for you, you know, and it's really hard to give up sugar. It's like, um, you know, if you give up sugar, you're doing really good because, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to give up sugar. And, um, so anyway, I just, I just want to let you guys know that how bad sugar is for you and everything. You probably already know it. I wasn't watching videos on it and stuff like that. And, uh. Yeah. So anyway, I just figured I would let you guys know. I love you all, and I hope you're all having a really good day. I'm in the house. I'm washing clothes. I did dishes and stuff. So um, I'm cleaning up. I got my necklace on my Aunt Dottie gave me, which was really cool. I like it. 
And I got a Christmas shirt on. And I got a sweater. This pretty sweater. I got this a long time ago. I like it. Anyway, so I got like two more teeth to get pulled out. And then I'm going to get false teeth. Yeah. I mean, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not sure. I don't, I can't afford uh, implants and stuff. But it doesn't sound like, they sound like they're complicated too to get the implants and stuff. And I don't know if I want anybody drooling down in my gums. Not my gums, but my, um, yeah, my gums. I don't want, I don't know if I want anybody to do that. And, uh. Yeah, so I've been, um, I just want to say hello to my cousin Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. I love you. I hope you're having a really good day today. Tell everybody I said hello. All our family. Um, so anyway, so, um, so, um, yeah. So then when you get your teeth pulled out, you know, like from, well, I have Sjogren's. That's what I have. I have Sjogren's and it's really messed up my, um, teeth. It, dried them out i used to go to i went to the dentist and stuff i had my teeth cleaned and all that stuff i mean i even had a root canal put in my tooth you know and after so many years i kind of messed up and i had to get that out and um but anyway i, I really did i mean i really tried to take good care of my teeth i have a lot of relatives that don't even have teeth anymore and stuff like that um you know so but it's it's sad you know, I tried. I tried to keep my teeth for as long as possible. I am kind of old. My mom didn't want me to lose my teeth, but I'm losing them. So I'm just going to get false teeth. That's going to be my thing. I think I'm just going to go for the top. False teeth. Yeah. Anyway, my grandfather, I remember my grandfather when I was a little kid. He, he'd have the teeth in his mouth. He'd still be able to eat stuff. Yeah, I'm just hoping that I can eat stuff. They say the longer you wait to get your false teeth, the harder it is. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, and I had a couple cousins. They got their teeth knocked out and stuff, and they had to get a false teeth, you know. So, I don't know. And, um, but anyway, I'm just, I'm just, uh, hanging in there. I'm going back to the dentist. I'm going to get the other two pulled out. I didn't get them all pulled out at one time. I have four left. I just can, I got two pulled out. I think that's good, was a good plan. And I'm going back to get the other two pulled out. And then I'm going to let my mouth heal up. I got a bad spot in the bottom of my mouth where I don't even have any teeth anymore. Because when I went to the dental school, I think they left a piece in there. So anyway, I got to go back. I'm going to go back to the dentist. I'm going to get them to help me. I'm going to get these other two teeth pulled out. But I'm worried because I did have my sinuses operated on and stuff. So, um, I'm a little scared about that. But, I'm um, trying not to panic, you know. So, anyway. So, anyway, I'm just hanging in the house. Yeah. So, there's a lot to think about. Like, what if you cut down on your sugar and stuff? Maybe that would help your teeth. Maybe that would help your health. You know, I'm trying to, I drink, a, I've been drinking a lot of water and stuff. I do have Sjogren's. I have, you know, so I just drink water. I get dry a lot. I get dry a lot. But anyway, so I hope everybody's having a good day. And I want to give a shout out to some people on Facebook. Um, I want to give a shout out to Black Bigot. He's a, he's a YouTuber and, um, uh, I've been watching his YouTube videos. I'm just going to talk about one person and I was going to talk about a whole bunch of different people on YouTube and stuff, but I think I'll just talk about one people and he seems like he has a strong following, following, I mean, and he has, he does a lot of videos and, um, my plan was to get some more following and I'm still working on that. I hope I do. I hope my following gets higher because I feel like some of the stuff that I talk about is is um good stuff, you know, stuff that could help people. And um yeah, so his name is Black Bigot. He's supposed to be living in his car and stuff. I think he's finally starting to get some place to live other than his car and stuff like that. But um Talking about cars, I need a new car, and I was thinking about a, um, a four-wheel drive car. I don't know exactly yet, but if anybody knows where I could get a cheap car, let me know. 
who's a good dealer and stuff in the state of Maryland, who does, um, you know, I need a cheap car. I don't need an expensive car. I'm either going to, I don't know exactly yet what kind of car I'm going to get. If I'm going to get a new car or if I'm going to get a cheap car. But I would probably be better off if I got a cheap car. Okay. So if anybody's out there who knows of a place that I could get a car that's cheap and is a good place and stuff like that, um, give me a shout out, you know. Okay, I love y'all, and I hope y'all are having a really good day today, and I'm going to let y'all go, and um, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. I love everybody. Bye.